Hey everybody, it's Brandon again, and uh, today we're talking about Chrome OS Flex, the uh, stable channel, I guess, the stable channel of Chrome OS Flex, because it's just been updated to version 104. This is 104.0.5. 551.12.83 and so we're going to be taking a look at it. I'm using this on my 2015 MacBook Air which has a Core i7 in it, 8 gigs of RAM. Flex runs really good on this system and I did this was on the dev channel before in version 105 so I did a downgrade and when you downgrade it uh, wipes your entire device and you start over from scratch and the reason that's an, that is important we will go over in a minute. So here I am again on version 104, and the first thing I noticed is a change in the setup process when I was setting this thing up, and I took a picture of it with my phone. Now, during initial setup, when you're installing Chrome OS Flex, you get it, there's a new screen where it asks you if you want to use a light theme, the dark theme, or if you want it to switch automatically based on day and night. I picked auto, so since it's daytime, you see I have the light theme, but, uh, we can go ahead and check out what the dark one looks like. This is a feature, if you right click on your desktop and go to set wallpaper and style now, I thought this was new on uh, version 105, but apparently it's a 104 thing that I just didn't notice before. So I'm on auto, you can also do dark and light. Nice, huh? I'll keep it on auto for now. But uh, this is a cool thing, a lot of people will probably appreciate that. Now here's some other things I noticed. <clears throat> I had previously had um, the flag enabled to use this launcher. It was called the, uh, what would they call it? Productivity launcher. Well, this appears to be the default now because this is how it was when I uh, went down to version 104, uh, wiped the system and restarted. Now it's also possible that since I was just downgrading from dev to stable, it, Re maintained all my flags or maybe it's syncing my flags uh, so I'll have to do a full reinstall to test that for sure but it looks like the default now is to use this launcher so if you install Chrome OS Flex and you get this instead of the full screen launcher now um, you can let me know in the comments I'm thinking this might be the default now and also what might be the default is the uh, calendar here this is another flag that I had previously turned on and uh, <clears throat> it to me, it looks like it's now the default, and I apologize if I'm wrong. Uh, if it's not the default, you can get this calendar view by enabling a flag. I have another video on my channel about that, so that's neat. I also noticed um, this seems to be using the new notifications. Again, that's another thing I turned on with a flag. It looks like it's now the default, and I apologize if it's not, but I think it is. All right, moving on. Um, there was something else I noticed in here. Okay, see, I also had the flag to have the trash can turned on in here. I don't see that, so maybe it's not saving my flags. Just saying. Now, where was that? I think the photo gallery app has a change. That might be... Okay, gallery. It's got this new icon. I don't remember if that was there in 103 or not, but definitely in 104, there's a new purple icon for the photo gallery. And when you go to it, I think this looks different. Uh, I don't have them side by side to compare, but this looks like they changed it. They have a, <clears throat> I guess I don't have any photos on this computer is why nothing's showing up. I would think it would show my stuff from Google Photos, but it doesn't. But yeah, you got to edit image buttons, file PDFs, watch videos, listen to audio. So there you go. And I think these are all the changes in, um... 104 that I've seen so far. There might be new hardware fixes too. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments what you see. Or if there's features in 104 that uh, are new and that I've missed, you can let me know in the comments too. You guys might remember if you've watched my channel, when version 104 was on dev, which was the last time I used it, I had nothing but bugs, nothing but crashes. Um, I haven't had any problems yet now that it's on stable, so I think it's going to be good. And yeah, just so you know, you can now install Chrome OS Flex direct to stable without going to the dev channel first. And just a refresher, if you want to try Chrome OS Flex, you open Google Chrome on either Mac or Windows. You have to install the extension called the, um, I think it's called the Chrome Book Recovery Utility, which you can just find in the Chrome extension shop, or just search for Chrome Book Recovery Utility on Google. You activate that extension, you have a USB drive plugged into your computer, you say get started, 
you say you're going to select your model from a list. For your manufacturer, you're going to choose Google Chrome OS Flex and select a product, Chrome OS Flex. And this should now make an installer for the stable edition of Chrome OS. So go ahead and give that a try if you want to try out Chrome OS. If you want to know about the possibilities of Chrome OS Flex, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Look back at some of the older videos because we talk about all of that and more. And if I find anything else new on 104, I will go ahead and make a video about it. Or if you guys find something, like I said, say in the comments. Uh, like the video if you liked it. And uh, yeah, other than that, I thank you for watching. And I hope that you all have a good day. Goodbye now.